Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sito and you're watching Sito. and then just made a straight stitch with my sewing machine.
I then ran a very basic basting stitch on the pleats to secure it in place. To attach the waistband to the waist, I measured out so that the excess fabric or the ex extra long pieces of the waistband would fall at the back of the waist. So I pinned the waistband to the top of the skirt, right sides facing. And when I came to the back part of it where there was this excess fabric or the extra waistband, I pin it in place to the skirt itself so that I can do a straight stretch across before flipping it over. Next, I make sure that my waistband is long enough or wide enough to go around my elastic again and then I fold the raw edge into the waistband and uh, fold the waistband around it and pin all around and after I pin all around, I leave a bit of an opening in the at the back of the skirt where I can put the elastic through and I try to sew as close as possible um, as close as possible to the first stitch. I use a big safety pin to thread the elastic to the waistband and then I sew the ends of the waistband together. Here I actually tried on the skirt because I wanted to push the gathers to the back of the skirt before I close the waistband shut. So I pushed as much as I can to the back of the skirt, pushed the fabric to the back of the skirt so that it will gather there because I already have pleats on the front. And then I pinned the sides and put a small stitch through where the pin lies on the side seams and then close the back of the waistband where, the, where I put the elastic through shut. And the last thing that was left to do was to hem the bottom of the skirt where I just folded it in twice and made a small stitch around with my sewing machine. And that's it guys, that's the skirt. It literally took me like less than two hours to sew this skirt. If I can do it, you can too. I hope you try this at home. And if you do, don't forget to tag me. Do follow me on Instagram and Facebook for more updates. And I hope to see you in my next video. And of course, um, if you're new to my channel, please, I really do appreciate if you would subscribe and hit the like button so I know what videos to make more of. And talk to me tell me stuff in my comments what do you think i could improve on what do you think i should do next so you know what do you think i shouldn't do in my videos i would love to hear from you and thank you very much for watching thanks again i'll see you again next week